Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a book haul of all of the books that I have bought recently. I have like 30 books here and I'm now shutting myself down. I'm not going to be buying any more books, probably. <laughs> Most likely until the new year. So if any of y'all see me buying books from now until January, please feel free to call me out. So I will start with all of my used book finds. As you guys know, I really, really like to buy books used and secondhand if I can. So I have a big stack here that I have been acquiring the past couple of weeks. So the first book that I have here is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is a thriller about a married couple who are serial killers. It sounds like something I'm absolutely going to love. I read For Your Own Good by Samantha Downing and I really enjoyed it so I'm excited to get to this one. Another thriller that I got is In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. Both of these were thrillers that people told me that I would like. This is about a college reunion. Six friends are brought back together. Previously when they were at school one of the friends was murdered and so now someone has brought them all back together and locked them in a room trying to figure out who was the murderer. It sounds amazing. I cannot wait to read this. I feel like it would be fun to do a reading vlog of both of these books, so let me know if you guys would like to see that. The next book that I got, I've already read, and that is Over the Woodward Wall by Deborah A. Baker. I read this book last year, and I loved it. Gave it five stars. This is a pen name for Sean and McGuire, and this is a book that follows two kids and one day they're walking to school and they find this giant wall up in the middle of the street so they decide to climb and go over the wall and they enter into this enchanting magical world there's a lot of dangers in this world i really loved this if you like her wayward children series you will definitely like this it totally feels like it could take place in that series the next book that i got is star eater by kirsten hall i've been very interested in this book ever since they came out because it is a fantasy about cannibal nuns cannibal nuns and like that intrigues me so much however i haven't heard the best reviews for this so i am interested to read it and see what i think but i'm obsessed with this cover i don't know if you can see down here like there's a face and there's like blood all over her mouth it looks so cool. The next book I got is A House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mallerman. I really want to read this. I really liked Bird Box when I read it many years ago, but that is the only Josh Mallerman book I've ever read, and I've been told that this is really good. It might be like a portal situation. It just sounds like something that I would really enjoy. I like short, weird books like this, so I'm excited to read that. The next two books I totally bought on a whim because I've never heard anybody talk about these. I don't really know fully what they're about but that is The Last Son and The Hanged Man by Katie Edwards. These are queer adult fantasy books. It's about this guy who is the last child of the fallen sun court and he's hired to find this woman's missing son on this island of New Atlantis where the Atlanteans have moved after humans ruined their home. So he travels with his bodyguard companion and from what I know they have a romance and I saw when I was looking on Goodreads a couple people kind of compared it to like supernatural I don't know if that's accurate but like I'm always excited to find books that I don't really know much about and to go into them with very limited expectations and these just sound like they're gonna be fun they're male male adult fantasies which you don't find often so excited to read those the next book that I got is seven days in June by Tia Williams this sounds like it could be a total five star for me basically this is about about two authors who have a second chance romance. They met and had like a very quick romance and then went their separate ways, never spoke again. And now they've run into each other again like 15 years later at a literary event and they're pretending that they don't know each other. While they may be pretending not to know each other, they can't deny their chemistry or the fact that they've been secretly writing to each other in their books through the years. How cute is that? But the number one thing that excited me about this book is that the main character and the author both have chronic migraines and I've never seen that representation in a book before so I'm really excited to read about that and to read a main character who has the same illness that I do. So this sounds amazing. 
So this video is being sponsored by Quip. Good health starts with good habits and Quip makes it easy by delivering all of the oral care essentials that you need. The Quip electric toothbrush offers a lightweight and sleek design with reusable handles in a range of colors. They have timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a recommended two minute clean. You can build a complete oral routine with the anti-cavity toothpaste in mint or watermelon and a refillable mouthwash that's good for you and the planet. You can also upgrade to the Bluetooth Smart toothbrush, which is the one that I have. It connects to the free Quip app and it tracks all of your brushing habits and gives you tips and advice as well as you can earn rewards that can be redeemed for free refills, discounts, or other products. I really love the app. It's a lot of fun because you get points when you brush your teeth well and it kind of turns it into a little game. I will literally do anything for points. Like points don't even have to matter, but the serotonin that I get every day checking that Quip app to see how many points I got is just all I need in life. On the app, it tracks things like the duration of your brushing, the intensity, if you are brushing the top and the bottom the right amount. So you can go to getquip.com slash Riley Marie to get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash Riley Marie. That's G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash Riley Marie. Quip, the good habits company. The last five of my used book purchases are all romance books. So we have Well Matched by Jen DeLuca. This is the third book in this Renaissance series. I don't know what the series is called. I loved the first book, Well Met. It's like such a cute Renaissance summery romance. I wasn't a fan of the second book, but this one sounds really great. It is following two characters who I have loved in the series and I'm excited to see their romance. I think that they're gonna be fake dating, which is always fun. The next one I got is Battle Royal by Lucy Parker. This is supposed to be like Great British Bake Off type of romance book. It follows this woman who is a baker and she is on a baking reality show and this guy is the judge and he ended up voting her off of the show. But now they have brought her back to the show to be his co-judge. So now they're both judges on the show and he's like, really upset about it and it just sounds like it's gonna be really fun and cute and i love romances that have to do with like cooking or baking the next one is the darkest temptation by danielle Lori. this is i think the third book the maid series these are mafia romances i haven't started this series yet i just need to get the second book and then I want to binge read them. The next one I got is Promise of Fire by Beck McMaster. This I think is a Hades and Persephone retelling if I am correct, but I got this because Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life loves this book. I think that this is like one of her favorite romance books and I've always had my eye on it since I heard her talk about it. And then I got Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm. I got this because Avery from Ava Romance Books, this is like one of her favorites. It's a fantasy romance. The back says, one time a midwife fell in love with a king. I believe she's like a healer and there's a plague going on in this world that she is trying to cure. So I'm excited for both of these. I've been in a big fantasy romance mood lately. All right, so the next little group here are books that were sent to me. So the first one is from Sourcebooks Fire and that is The Girl Who Knew Too Much by Tiffany Brooks. This is a YA thriller that is about a reality show where teenagers are competing for a million dollar prize and they're dropped on this deserted island island where there is rumored to be a lost treasure and they're cut off from the outside world but soon the contestants start finding themselves victims of accidents and they realize that there's something a lot more sinister going on with this game. I am so excited to read this. This is probably going to be the next book that I pick up. It's on my December TBR and I can't wait. I love the deadly game trope. The next book is The Perks of Loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley. I have already read this and I loved it. It is a female female historical romance Romance, and it's the second book in this Wild Winchester series. This book was amazing. It's definitely like one of my favorite historical romances and definitely one of my favorite sapphic romances. The next one is another historical romance and that is Mistletoe Christmas. This is an anthology of four stories from Elosa James, Christy Caldwell, Jana McGregor, and Erica Ridley. I love historical romances set in the Christmas time, so I'm very excited to read this. This is also on my December TBR. The next one I got is Lucky Leap Day by Anne-Marie Walker. 
Walker. This comes out in January and it is a romance about a woman who travels to Ireland on leap day and there is this Irish tradition where women propose to men on leap day and I believe that she like, gets drunk and wakes up the next day with this guy next to her and a ring on her finger. It sounds really cute. There is a rom-com called Leap Year with Matthew Good and Amy Adams. Is it Amy Adams? I think it is. I love that movie. It's so cute. And the plot of this really reminds me of that. And then the last book that was sent to me is called Loaded by Kilby Blades. This is a holiday romance. I believe it. It's a Thanksgiving romance about this billionaire who is bringing his girlfriend home for the holidays, but his family is like very wealthy, old money, kind of like strange. The way that the back describes them really reminds me of the movie Knives Out like that whole family. The back says forced proximity and alcohol. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, and then the last group of books we have here are all of the brand new books that I've purchased. So the first two that we have here are Her Soul to Take and Her Soul for Revenge by Harley Lorel. You probably know if you've watched any of my recent videos that I'm obsessed with this book. This is probably my favorite romance of the whole year. This is kind of a horror romance about this girl who has a YouTube channel where she investigates ghosts and paranormal things and she moves to this small town and while she's there she meets this guy who is a demon and he wants to steal her soul and drag her back to hell and in this town there's this plot with like a cult and sacrificial rituals and a dead god it is just such a an amazing book. So I have the first one and then the second book, Her Soul for Revenge, I haven't read yet, but I'm so excited to read because the couple that this book follows, I was so interested in when we saw glimpses of them in this book. But yeah, I highly, highly recommend starting this series. The next one I got is Nothing But Blackened Teeth by Cassandra Kaw and I've already read this. I really enjoyed it. I'm very much in the minority of enjoying this book. This is a horror book about a group of friends who are reuniting for a wedding, and the wedding is taking place in this haunted house in Japan. There's a myth that there's a ghost bride who lives in the house, and I enjoyed this. I will say that if you are gonna read this, like I probably recommend getting it from the library because it's pretty expensive. It's very short. A lot of people don't like it. I really liked it, but but um, you're probably best off checking it out from the library. The next book I got is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. This is her new Christmas romance and I already read this. I loved it. I gave it five stars. This has the grumpy sunshine trope, but the woman is the grump and the guy is the sunshine. He is the owner of a department store and she is going to be designing the window displays and it's just the perfect Christmas romance. If you are gonna read one Christmas romance this December, pick this one. The next book that I got is a massive book. <laughs> I did not realize it was gonna be this big and that is Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. Look at how chunky she is. This is a dark romance. I believe that it's a stalker romance. I really don't know much about this. When I did the Smutathon live show, so many people told me to read this and I like, I bought it during the live show. I was like, okay, it's gonna happen. In typical dark romance fashion, the back synopsis gives nothing away. I didn't mean to fall in love, but now that I have, I can't stay away. I'll keep watching and waiting until I can make her mine. And once she is, I'll never let her go. Not even when she begs me to. Okay, the next one I got similar to this book, I bought these at the same time. It's Gothicana by Runix. This is a paranormal, dark academia romance. Um, this was another one that I bought during that Smithathon live show because everyone was telling me to read it. And this book also has cool artwork inside. There's like quote pages, aesthetic pictures in the back, a map. Like this book is really cool. Excited for that. So then the last three books that I got, I bought during the Target sale or one of the Target sales where they were doing like buy two books, get one free. So I got Good Gone Bad by Gianna Darling. This is the third book in her Fallen Men series, which I am 
collecting all the books in this series because I am currently reading them. And yeah, very excited about this. It is a motorcycle club romance. Then we have Don't Hex and Drive by Juliet Cross. This is the second book in her Stay a Spell series. The first book, Wolf Gone Wild, was so good. I gave it five stars and I'm very excited to read this one. The series follows a group of sisters who are all witches. And this one, I believe, is a romance with one of the sisters and a vampire, which I am very excited for. And then the last book I have here is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I've already read this. I loved this book. It is a dark romance Peter Pan retelling following Hook and Wendy. It's not fantasy. It's a contemporary romance. Hook is like a crime boss and he wants to get revenge on the man who ruined his life who just so happens to be Wendy's father. So he's trying to use Wendy to get revenge on her dad. I love this book. It has a captor captive element to it that was amazing. Hook is honestly so insane and unhinged and I loved him. So I definitely recommend that. So those were all of the books that I have gotten recently. Like I said, I do not plan on buying any more books until the end of the year. So this will be the last book haul that you see from me until next year. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.